icon, metabolic smash, muscle builder, fat burner. That's what we're doing in today's workout. Hey everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. All right, today's workout is a metabolic smash. Great format, fun, fresh. Here we go. You're gonna start with a cardio blast, okay? Nice high intensity. I'll show you the low impact modifications though if you need. You've got 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. Then we're gonna move right into a six by six strength. So, four exercises. You're gonna repeat each for six reps and then do six rounds, okay? So lift as heavy as you can in, in that set. You're gonna push until you can't, rest until you can, pause the video if you need to finish out the set. Then we're gonna go into a compound strength circuit. All right, I've got, again, four exercises. You'll do each for 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, three rounds, and we'll finish off with another six by six strength. These are fun workouts. This is going to really kick up your heart rate, even though we're only doing that little bit of cardio at the beginning. The strength and the speed is gonna increase that heart rate. So again, take rest as you need and be sure to stay hydrated. If you want more metabolic smash workouts, click the card at the top of the screen and that's the playlist. All right, I'm Jazz, are you? Let's do this and move daily. I'll hit high intensity intervals since it's going to be high intensity today. Uh, circles to start off right here, let's go. Okay, I've done it before where I've made this a no repeat, but I see some value, I see great value, in fact, search directions, in coming back to the same exercise and being able to challenge yourself in the weight amount. Okay, if you're wanting to build lean muscle, this is the way to do that. Uh, let's squat right here, reach overhead. Last one here. Good, take it wide, open in the chest. And last one here, stay wide. Let's touch our toes. Yeah. Nice little inner thigh stretch here. And hamstrings. Stay wide. I'm gonna get into this low side to side. Stay up high and rock side to side if you can't get down as low. Sometimes we don't have that flexibility in our heels, Achilles, calves, hips. Something to work on for sure. Good, one more here. Oh yeah, that's good. And let's round up through the back. Roll those shoulders. And front rolls up by the ears. And we're gonna tap it side to side right here, reach across. Up and over here. So turn. All right, let's just finish off with some calf raises here. We are starting off with that cardio. So just gonna warm up those calves, those jumper muscles a little bit here. Let's go for five more. Last five. All right. Here's your cardio circuit. Here's the four exercises. Repeat for three rounds, 30 and 10. All right, we're starting with a double hop frog squat. All right, you can just modify with a low impact frog squat there. 
Otherwise, let's work. So it's one, two, and down. knees, three jacks back, moderate here, all right, a low impact, otherwise let's kick it, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, and three. This is your mod for low impact. Here we go. So snowboarder, one, two, three, snowboarder. Jacks are here. You can moderate here. Whew. Heart rate's climbing. Here we go. into your six high knees, three jacks back. Order. Three hop turn. Here. One, two, three, low.
rest if you need. Going right into that double hop frog. Here we go. One, two, and low. Touch the ground if you can, but keep your back tall. Drop your glutes. To that six high knees, three jacks. challenging if you like. off with the jack then we'll go into our first six by six circuit okay second break. There's your four exercises. That's the weights that I'm starting with. I've got my little counters here. We're going for six rounds. So the best bet is just to switch when I switch, but if you want to pause the video, finish out the set, it might take you quicker, it might take you longer. Just do it your way if you'd like, but I suggest you just switch when I switch and then we'll just work together. All right, Aya, you ready? Let's go. You're starting with those six push-ups. Mod from the knees or hit six here. There's six, good, into six Arnold press. I've got my 15s, stand tall. There's six into my six weighted squat jumps using these 15s, or tight. And into my six V sits on the ground. Here we go for six. And there's my six. All right, going into round two push ups. Six. And Arnold's. I'm gonna stick with 15s here. Make sure you're not dizzy. Oh, that's, that was hard. Okay, squat jumps. Mod with weighted squats there. V sits. Oh, 
Okay, going into round three. Assess if you need a break. Then into push ups. And Arnold. Jumps. Sorry. And this it. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick step. Dizzy here, so just wait. Three, six, squat jumps. Last round. Quick sip. One sixty BPM. Oops. When you're ready. Arnold. Okay, bring your heart rate down a bit. 
Uh, here's the next format and circuit. Take a look, grab the weights you need. <sighs> Rehydrate. I'm grabbing eight pound dumbbells for that curtsy pulse or curtsy tap, I guess. Bent arm lateral, I'll call halfway, hold the weights here to start and stick your chest out. Okay, so your curtsy, tap, high knee in there. One, two, and up, good. One, two, core engaged. Last one here, and switch your side. Here we go, one, two, for my bent over dumbbell row to standing front raise. It's gonna be whatever you can front raise. Hinge at the waist, back is flat. Here we go, so it's row, stand, raise it here, hinge, row, and raise. Stick your chest out. don't you? Alright, moving into your static lunge press. I'm going to grab my 12 pound dumbbell. I'll go halfway on the lunge and the press. Alright, you're here. Pull the tilt and then press at the top. Low. Here. Good. Up. Well, this feeling good. Torso nice and steady. Last one here, switch your sides and work. Drop that low. Press, let's go. Very good, I'm going into that renegade row and grab my other 15. So blast off first into a renegade row. So row each side. Feet are about shoulder width, reach it back. So blast off here, row it here, and switch. Back to the blast off. Remember to pull apart your shoulder blades in that plank. Don't collapse that upper back wall, okay? That was lovely. Great set, okay. Curtsy, back to my eights. Arms here. All right, diagonal behind, high knee if you can. Some of you won't have the balance and you can just tap it. Last one on this side. Switch legs. Curtsy behind, high knee there.
Lovely. Okay, row, raise. I'll use a 15 again. Right there. Hinge forward, flat back. Row, stand. Raise it here. Just up to 90 degrees. Right in front of your mouth. Really think of retracting your shoulder blades and not shrugging right here. Here. Hold them back. Not up, okay? Back. Good. I'm gonna try the 15 on a static lunge press. Right? Why not, Trace? All right, fine. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll try it. All right, get into position. Here we go. Drop it low. Here. One more here, switch, that was great. Here we go, low. Not a problem with the 15 for me. Gotta keep that balance about you though. Control the down. Okay, that's gonna keep you more stable than if you let it just collapse down and fall. Nice. Blast off, how about that? That's good. All right, blast off first into your renegade row. At a push up, you want to challenge your difficulty here. Reach, row.
Okay. I like that. That's good. Into that static lunge. Back to a 15 for me. Up all half on the leg and hand. A big tilt. Control the down. Last one here and switch. Six by six coming up. I'm sweaty already. I'm gonna attempt using my 20s on this whole circuit here. I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Going into round one, starting with six clean and snatch per hand. Wide stance, watch your chin. Drop it low and six here. Switch sides. Core engaged. Last here. Grabbing my other 20 for that side dumbbell deadlift. Putting my weights at my side. And hinge for six. Last one here, and going into my bent over rows for six. And racking up to the top for a front squat for six. soft. Hinge. And then rows. Front squat. 
I might have to switch weights if you can't rack it up here. Feet shoulder width. Each round only okay just think of each round as its own finish line stay narrow for focused here folks you're doing great okay going into four is that four three oh Nelly we're going into four yeah we're going into four it doesn't matter we're doing it <laughs> even if it's five we're going into four sorry Six. Six deadlifts. Two more. Going into five. Let's work. There's 
six. Switch sides. Deadlifts. It's your side view. And rows. Make it hard. I know you're sweating too. If you're with me now, you're dying. Core engaged. Okay. Got a break before round six. Okay. Doing well. Really well. All right, last round here, folks. And then we're gonna end with a little zone two cardio. Okay, just to finish her off. Here we go. Clean, let's work. Switch. Six and deadlifts. Anyone else using the twenties? Not too bad. Hinge. Reach your hips. Number six, into your rows. Just gotta get it in position, then I can break. Come on, girl. Okay, last six here. Then zone two cardio for a few minutes. There'll be no repeat. Okay, good. Pause the video, finish up the set, or just Keep going, finish, uh, and then join me in the zone two cardio when you're done. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sweaty, this is great. All right, water break for me. Low impact here, we're gonna start with a butt kick, front punch. You could hold lighter weights if you'd like. I think I'm good right here. Let's work, you're here, let's go. So, zone two, you could keep a conversation with me, all right, but, you feel your heart rate rising. It gets tough toward the end. All right, oh, let's work. That was great, I feel awesome right now. <laughs> Do you too? I hope so. All right, only rest if you need to. We're going to a side shuffle. Here we go. Right here, walk. If you'd like to have no impact here. This one's pretty easy for me, so I'm gonna keep it here. Going into that frog squat leg lift. All right, right here. Take it low, same side.
three, two, one, switch sides. All right, boxer shuffle right here. We're gonna travel. wide and low, you're here. Let's go. Heel lift if you don't want to twist the knee, right? <clears throat> Little frog squat, reach coming up. All right, legs closer, ground and tiptoes. Nice squat here. down to the ground. I'm at about 135, 130. It's dropping nice and quick. A couple of those nice deep inhales, even a double inhale, slow exhale, that physiological sigh. Let's bring that prefrontal cortex back online, bringing cortisol levels down, and let's take it down to the ground. Everything is sweaty, I kid you not. I rarely get the backhand sweat. Why today? <laughs> because it was hard. I loved it. I was happy about that workout. I had a good sleep. I fueled that workout. So I had breakfast. 
I broke the fast at about nine and then I trained after that. For me, a workout of that magnitude and intensity, I like to do it in a fueled way. Switch sides. That's not possible for all of us because sometimes we train at five in the morning. What are you gonna do, get up at three and eat? Now, if your whole goal was to build muscle, you're going to benefit from having more energy, which is what fuel does. So if you're training first thing in the morning and it has to be in a fasted state, do be sure to get a good dose of complex carbohydrates in your evening meal, okay? That will help you. That will put glycogen in your cells, which is the first uh, energy spot to start to burn up. So if they have a plump amount of glycogen in there from last night's meal, you'll have some good energy at the start. Uh, then you'll, your fuel system will switch, right, to ATP and fat burning. What you don't want to happen is it to start to burn muscle. And if you don't eat an adequate amount day to day, that's sometimes what can happen, right? Your body needs fuel in order to train and build. And it makes it, like once you have more lean muscle, that makes your body burn like a fine-tuned machine. It's like a treadmill constantly running when you have muscle. This is why I feel like I can have my cake and eat it too at times. This is why I eat in moderation and I don't say no to things that I want or enjoy, right? Sometimes my mom says, do your clients know what you eat? <laughs> like that you're eating that cookie? <laughs> I'm like, well, hopefully they know. I'm not shy about eating treats. Uh, but the reason why you can have that sort of 80-20 principle and it works well is because I've got muscle on the body and that helps to burn off those excess um, indulgent calories perhaps a little bit more readily. Does that make sense? Of course, as you age, it becomes more challenging, right? It, it really does. It just, you, hormones fluctuate estrogen drops substantially, which means it's more challenging for your body to manage those glucose spikes, which is why we focus on the order that we eat our food. We always make sure that we put clothes on our carbs. We don't eat, you know, close to bedtime. We don't eat just carbs by themselves. We try to have complex carbohydrates that have fiber. Lots of strategies around how to eat, especially as you age. Um, yeah, that's important. All right, <laughs> what else do we need to stretch? I don't even know, like I'm feeling like I'm kind of vibrating all over. Let's round through the back right here. I actually have a new program coming out. It's called the Belly Fat Files because a lot of people my age seem to contact me on how to burn belly fat, how to lose belly fat. And the thing about it is, is that there's just so many things to know. It's not just one formula. Right, and as we teach in the membership, it's about fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Where sleep is critical, stress levels are important to understand, uh, mental health is important, right? Loving yourself is important. So there, there's lots to know besides just how to eat, what to eat, why to eat, when to eat. <laughs> it's, it's convoluted, it's tricky. So if you're confused, you're not alone. Which is why I'm like, okay, I gotta put out a program that really dials in this concept of understanding, you know, the protocol. But then it's having the motivation to do the protocol. Like you can tell people till you're blue in the face how to function in order to reach their targets, but if you're not motivated or if you lack motivation or if there's different stressors in your life at different times, if your hormones are off and you don't even know how to fix them. Like it's like how do you how do you reach your targets? So there is a lot to know. This is why like in our membership today we're having a menopause doctor come on because well, I don't know everything about menopause but she does. And so bringing on experts to help us understand how to be the best versions of ourselves we can. Tomorrow we're having a counselor come on and talk about anxiety, right? So we have a nutritionist. She was just on a few weeks ago talking about uh, how to increase fiber and improve your bowel movements. <laughs> like. So the, benef the benefits of the membership are immense. Lots of coaching there and help to grow your healthiest self. All right, I gotta hop right into the shower. Not everything is sticking. I hope you had a great workout. Uh, here's the playlist for the Met Smash and there's the link to the membership if you're interested in joining. See ya in the next workout. Where am I going?